Hey everyone, it's Abby. Today I want to make a Regency reticule to match my Bridgerton dress. I found a good reticule shape that I want to replicate from searching around on Pinterest. This is part four of my Bridgerton series. I'll have a part five, the final reveal coming soon when I get some good footage for that. I'll be using the same fabrics and techniques that I used for the dress. I love having matching purses for all my outfits. So let's get sewing. I start with measuring my phone. This will be the largest item I put in the reticule, so I want to make sure that it's bigger than that, which is about six and a half by three and a half inches. I start with marking the center line with pencil and a ruler, and I fold that in half. I measure five inches out from the center, mark, and make another line. I angle the ruler, it's three inches up from the bottom. This is for the bottom of the reticule. I want there to be three points like I've seen in a lot of extent examples. I mark at three inches in from the center and make a line. I mark at three and a half inches down from the top. You can see the whole length is 12 inches. This gives me about eight and a half inches in depth. I mark the line across. I'm using the edge of my ruler to square it up. I mark the farthest point out to the cross section that I just marked. I then mark from that cross section again to the furthest point up. I changed my mind on the width of the top section. I mark it down to only one and a half inches, so that changes the whole length to 10 inches total. I mark the top angle in a bit. I like that shape, so I cut it out with my paper scissors. and I unfold it to have one complete pattern for a reticule. As you can see, my phone will fit quite well. I decided to bring the sides in by about half an inch so that it lines up with the top. I mark the angles and cut off the excess. I measure and mark all the measurements, eight and a half inches at the widest, six inches at the smallest, and 10 inches in length. Keep in mind, this is the pattern without seam allowances. I pin the pattern to four layers of green poly silk. I cut out the reticule shape with about a half inch seam allowance. I mark around the pattern with pencil so I know where to place my stitches. I'll need to mark the outer layers as well, but you can see I have two outside layers and two lining layers. Now I want to cut the pink embellished lace pieces. I lay the pattern on top and cut it out with about an inch seam allowance. This gives space to move things around as needed. I place that first piece to line it up and cut out the second piece so that they are very similar patterns. I lay the lace pieces on top of the green piece and line them up. I pin them together. I pin the lining pieces together. I used red thread and basted the lace to the green fabric. I also removed the beads and sequins from the edges. I tested flower placement on the front. I'm going to be doing something similar to the bodice of my dress. I hand sew the flowers on, using the beads and sequins that I removed from the pink lace. I 
I hand sewed flowers onto the back piece as well. I follow the pencil lines and hand sew using a double back stitch and doubled green thread. I'm leaving an empty space between the lines. This is where I will be placing ribbon to tie the reticule closed and hold it. Clip the corners, fold under all the raw edges on both sides, and pin in place. I hand invisible whip stitch along all those folded seams. You can see I clipped right where the opening is as well and sewed those tabs down. The stitches show a bit on the outside, but it looks pretty good. I like having my raw edges covered, even if there's a lining. I sewed the lining up the same way I hand sewed the outside layer, also leaving a hole for the ribbon. I clip one side of the seam on the lining. I pin the raw edges under to prepare to hand fell the lining seam in place. And I hand fell the seam. That completes the lining layer. Now that both layers are prepared, I can attach them to each other. As you can see, I pinned the raw edges under around the top edge of the outside layer. I whip stitch those seams down using green thread. Stuff the lining into the outer layer of the reticule and line it up. I fold under the seam allowance at the top and pin it slightly down from the edge of the outside. With my green thread, I whip stitch the lining to the outer layer. You could use a machine for a lot of this if you wanted. I really enjoy hand sewing, and I wanted a hand sewing project. I can hide the stitches better when hand sewing, and it's also easier to get around all the embellishments for this particular fabric. I had previously marked where the ribbon channel would go with pins, so I'm following those pin lines with a hand double backstitch. I wanted to make a beaded tassel thing. I've also heard them called jellyfish. I've seen them in a lot of extant reticules. I'm starting with about a half inch square of ribbon. I melted the edges. I'm using doubled pink poly thread and a long beading needle. I anchor the thread. I have tiny pink seed beads from another project that I'll be using for the tassels. I thread 25 seed beads on first. I place two of the smaller pink pearls next. I string one of the larger pink pearls. I use a final pink seed bead as the anchor bead on the end. I wrap the thread around that and back through all the beads I just strung. I pull that thread tight up against the green ribbon. I anchor the thread at the top. As 
as you can see, I made 10 of those tassels. I cut the edges of the green ribbon off so they don't show. For the green cap part, it's pulled off these white carnations that I used for my Regency bonnet. I kept some of them because I thought they might be useful. I thread the green bell onto the pink tassels that I just created. I thread a few sequins onto the top, but it seemed like too many, so I just used one. Then I thread a pink pearl on top of that. And there's a tassel. Now I sew it onto the bottom point of my reticule. I anchor it through the fabric and the tassel a bunch of times to make sure it won't fall off. Look at how pretty and dangly it is. Once I finished the ribbon channels, I got two lengths of ribbon and attached a safety pin to them. I thread those ribbons all the way through both channels, in one side, around the edge, and out the other side. I tie each of these ribbons off. This leaves a knot on either side. It pulls closed as you pull it from each side. And that's a completed Regency reticule. Thank you for joining me today as I made my Bridgerton Regency reticule. I definitely want to make more reticules in the future to match some of my other outfits. Stay tuned for the final reveal of the full outfit coming soon. I also have the next part of my Celtic quilt. And I made the best as the final piece for my Jen from IT Crowd cosplay. If you liked this video and want to see more sewing and costume videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Happy sewing! Look at the girl. Sit, sit. Oh.